What is going on guys? My name is Gareth Collins and you're probably wondering what does it cost to rebuild a 2019 Yamaha R1? Today I'll be answering that question because this is a question that I've gotten more than a thousand times so I'll be breaking down each individual part that I paid for but before we get into it let's go ahead and give this bike a good spring clean because I haven't actually cleaned it since I rebuilt it and then I'll give you guys a full price breakdown. Alright guys, so now that the bike is all cleaned up and ready for the next ride, there are two things that I'd like to mention. One of them being, I actually do not like doing these price breakdowns and the reason for that is a lot of people live in a lot of different countries and that means your currency will fluctuate with the rest of the world's currency, meaning you could have paid less or you would have paid more for this build if you did it yourself. So please keep that in mind when watching this video. As well as I know, I live in South Africa and a lot of people are probably wondering why I'm not doing a price breakdown in my currency and the reason for that is only two to three percent of my country actually watch my channel most of my viewers come from USA or India and that is why I'll be choosing the currency that everyone is more familiar with and that would be USD you are more than welcome to go do a conversion into your currency to know exactly how much I paid for this build at the end of the video but now that all of that is out of the way let's go ahead and jump straight into it all right so I'm not going to try and bore you guys too much I will try to keep this video short and sweet and try to go over everything as fast as possible starting with the initial price i bought this bike as a crash bike for five thousand five hundred dollars and honestly that is a really really good price but i will say the guy was originally advertising it for seven thousand five hundred but after about two months of negotiating he finally sold the bike to me for five thousand five hundred i then bought an original fairing kit from a guy that turned his bike into a track bike that was $500, but the color scheme was for the 2015 to the 2017 model. So I decided to send the fairings in to have them custom painted. I edited my own design in Photoshop and then sent it off to the guys to have it painted. That was a total of $1,000. And yes, everything is paint. There is no stickers on the spike. So $1,000 is a really, really good price for all this custom work. I also bought the headlights and the mounting bracket that holds the headlights from the same guy that sold me the fairing kit and he gave it to me for 450. I needed a front room because mine was badly damaged so I bought this one for $510 and honestly that is a really expensive price for a wheel but considering Yamaha sells them for 1,600 brand new I guess 510 is really not that bad. I then sent in both wheels to have them painted into this candy apple red and the dark in the middle because that is the part that usually gets dirty and it's hard to clean and that was a total of $360. I found a guy selling light tech levers and rear sets. He accidentally bought himself a second pair and decided to keep it as spares. But after about three years, he never ended up using them and decided to sell them to me and I got them for $400. And honestly, that is a really good price considering brand new rear sets would cost about $800. So I'm really happy about that. I needed a throttle side handlebar that was $132 brand new at Yamaha. I also bought a set of domino grips for 30 bucks and then I also got these carbon fiber lever guards for $210. I bought these carbon fiber winglets and they were imported from Thailand. 
Thailand for a total of $420 with shipping and import tax included. I bought secondhand headers for $180 and even though I could have used mine, I decided to buy others because mine had a little bit of dents in them and I wanted the bike to feel and look fairly brand new. So that was a total of $180. This Yoshimira R55LE exhaust, can, muffler, or silencer, whatever you want to call it, was a total of $360. And honestly, I like the way it looks. That is why I bought it. And I think it looks absolutely insane on this bike. I sent in three coolant pipes to have them painted candy apple red so that they could match the wheels. That was a total of 60 bucks for all three. These chain adjusters were 150 Integrated tail light 110, engine cover protectors 150. Because I am a taller rider, I had this custom windscreen made for $90. I had these custom tank beds made for 60 bucks. This was originally a carbon fiber track seat and honestly it was very uncomfortable to sit on so I decided to send it in and they put some brand new layers of foam on and as well as a new seat cover that I chose. I don't know much about the material that they use all I know is that this right here is Alcantara and honestly I love the way it looks. That was a total of $200. I bought a new subframe this right here was $500 at Yamaha. I bought a second hand radiator for $240. I also sent in my forks to have them straightened that was $115 and they also installed brand new fork seals I bought a brand new airbox from Yamaha it is actually underneath this cover and that was $150 I also decided to buy a full servicing kit that came to around $320 and that includes all of the oil and all of the filters the only thing I didn't buy was the plugs because this bike has low mileage now the reason why it was so expensive is because I actually bought a performance air sprint filter the reason for that is because everyone said it was a really good filter to use on this bike so I wanted to give it a try i also put in motul 7100 and dot 5.1 brake fluid so that is why everything came to 320 dollars there are three tank brackets that hold this tank in place i needed to replace all three that was a total of 60 dollars i also bought two of these badges from yamaha and it was 45 bucks for two now the last and final thing on this list are the tires. These are Pirelli Diablo Rosso Corsas and for the set I paid $250. So the total amount that I spent on this bike from start to finish was $12,552. That includes all of the parts and the purchase price. Honestly, that is really not a bad price considering I have so much custom things done to this bike. And the cheapest secondhand R1 that I could find, a 2019 model, was $16,220. There was only one listed. So if you had to calculate, I still saved some money. I think I saved at least $3,600. And I will also agree because there is some of you out there that are thinking I could have saved even more if I didn't do all of this custom work. I did work out that I could have saved at least $4,000 if I didn't do all of this custom work, but then it would have been pointless for me. I want to do all of this custom work to these bikes. That is why I buy them. If I wanted something stock, I would have just purchased it off somebody else. So I'm really happy with spending $12,552. Now, the only thing I didn't buy on this bike was the Speedo or the Cluster or the Clocks whatever you want to call it and the reason I didn't buy it is because it costs two thousand dollars at Yamaha for a brand new one and honestly that is a disgusting price for a clock or something that just tells you the speed mostly you never even look at this thing when you are riding so I don't think it is worth it but if there is somebody that is willing to sell me theirs, I need a 2018 to 2019. You can contact me at garethcollins.1 at gmail.com and I will definitely get back to you. If you guys like this video, please go ahead, like and subscribe. If you want to know anything, please go ahead and comment down below. You will be seeing me in the next video. So until then, peace out.